Uh, okay, so uh, I needed to create a timer for my game recently, and uh, I haven't find, found anything regarding this like easy enough uh, online. So I decided to you now record a quick tutorial on how to make a timer for your game. You know, uh, something like uh, in Mario or something that will just count seconds from zero to to infinity, basically. Okay, so we need to add a text object. I'm gonna call it time. And I'm gonna write just time here. Place it somewhere on your scene. Uh, let's run it. As you can see, I've uh, created a um, player object and a platform. So you can move the player around and uh, as you can see, there's time about it. Uh, by the way, if uh, we're gonna you now move the camera, like if I'm gonna center the camera on the player and uh, move it around, then the time will uh, stay, you know, in its location. And uh, if I go off screen, it will be hidden. So, uh, in order to make it fixed on the screen, you need to place it to another layer. So you can create layers here. Just create new one. And then you're gonna uh, go to properties, properties for this object and uh, just pick the layer that you need. Okay, let's go to events. We don't have any events here now, so I'm gonna create new one. So there will be no condition because um, our action will run each frame uh, of the game. So uh, let's start with the uh, value uh, of a scene variable. I'm gonna create new variable for the scene. I'm gonna call it uh, time and make the value zero. Okay. Uh, let's speak variable time and uh, speak at one. So each frame of the game, it will add uh, one to the time variable. Uh, then I'm gonna uh, pick uh, modify uh, a variable, modify the text of a variable of an object. I'm gonna choose. Uh, I'm gonna choose object time. I mean, uh, I need to check modify, just modify the text, not, just, not the text of variable. So I'm gonna choose the time and uh, I'm gonna use equals. And here we need to write uh, a simple um, formula. So I'm gonna start with time, which is just a string and uh, make a plus sign. Also, I, I will make a space here so it will be like divided the num number will be divided from the from the label okay the plus sign and uh, then write to string which uh, will um, like transform the number value of the variable to string value and attach it to this uh, string uh, let's make law i'm gonna explain it a in a, in a moment, like when I finished, when I finished the, the press variable, variable called uh, time. And this variable will be divided to 60. Okay. What it means is uh, we like calling a variable time, dividing this variable to 60, because um, like we have 60 frames per second and um, this uh, this action is uh, like adding one for each frame so in order to get seconds I need to divide it to 60 then I'm gonna round this number to get you know rounded number without uh, without numbers after the dot and to just transform uh, this number to string to attach it to this time value. Okay, 
let's press OK and test the result. And as you can see, now we have a simple timer. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask them in the comments or whatever. Like, I don't know. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not really uh, good with GDevelop yet, so I'm not sure if I can ask any questions about it. So. But anyway, feel free to ask anything. I'm I'm open to conversation. Okay, bye.